to Orange tonight. Today it was all about survival training there. That was the key focus of the 13th annual Crisis Preparedness Expo. People learned about foraging for food, finding water and surviving in the elements. 12 News reporter Kayla Chote stopped by. Finding food, water and shelter. These are some of the key takeaways preppers learned at today's Crisis Preparation and Sustainable Living Expo. We don't know how to garden. We don't know how to feed ourselves. If we were in a crisis situation, could we grow anything? Where, where would we get our water? Those are the questions that Pastor David Turner and his congregation at Little Cypress Baptist Church in Orange asked themselves years ago, creating the Crisis Expo as a result. I think it's a great way to be self-sufficient, even in a time where things are uncertain and the area that we live in in the nation with weather and hurricanes, it's nice to know you can do it yourself. Orange native Joby Hill is here for the second year to take the pressure canning class again. This time, she learned how to process fresh meat. Well, the good thing about it is it doesn't have to be refrigerated. It is good for a year, so it's shelf stable and it's ready to go. So you can eat it straight out of the jar. So that's, that's the great possibility of it when you're in a crisis. Participants in the hands-on soap making class learn the health benefits of making your own batch of soap. And you won't have to worry about going to the store and you know exactly what goes into the soap. Just like when you eat, grow your own food, you know what exactly goes into your food. Same thing as what you put on your body. Vendors range from knife sharpening, edible plants, and to fire starter kits. This burns at 5,600 degrees. You light it with a spark after you make shaving. This is the ferro rod, creates the spark. And a famous Texas forager, Meriwether, will teach an apocalypse landscaping for food class. Our thing is not to try to make people uncomfortable, it's to try to give people skill and wisdom and understanding. Classes will continue Saturday at 8 a.m. There will be classes on growing your own food and medicine. In Orange, Kayla Chote, 12 News.